It's very important to bond with your guide because you're going to be the team for the day. And you know, a great guide and an angler doesn't listen doesn't work. A great angler and a bad guide or a bad relationship, bad way to start the day, that doesn't work. You both have to be on the same page. And uh, the first thing I think in the morning when you meet someone for the first time is be super friendly and smile. It is critical. You know, and when you're traveling around the world in foreign countries, you know, some of these cultures, the people aren't real outgoing. They're not going to come up and give you a big hug and say, welcome into the boat, Jeff, we love you. They might be very quiet. So it's sometimes I feel it's my, I, my job to go up and shake his hand, look at him, because then they know you're a friendly guy. And ask them what you're doing. A lot of guides have a plan, but they don't tell you. I like to know their plan. And there are some guides, unfortunately, probably don't have a plan. But if you tell them what you're looking for, talk about it. You know, it's not a rush to get in the water, water, get out there as quick as possible. Kind of get it together, meet the guide, um, take their advice. I'm actually a guy that hates to be guided because I've got a lot of experience. And, you know, I love learning on my own. But when I meet with a guide, I don't go down that road at all. I ask them what fly I should use. I may know exactly what to use, but I want to see what they're... I want them to take charge. I want to give them the opportunity to take charge, and then I'm going to ride it. And chances are, and 90% of the time, it ends up being a great day for me.